Hello everyone, we are back, and I was just partially exploded by a crash fish. So, I know that there are crash fish in the area. So let's take a look through these sub-aquatic caves. Go up, go up, go up! Perfect. Uh, oh. Ah! No! Oh, right in the face, too. God damn it. Oh no! No 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 no! Okay, you know what? That's enough cave sulfur. I don't need any more of that crap. And I don't need you gasopod shitting all over me either. Yeah. By the way, these are the gasopods. Whenever you get too close to them, they just start spitting up a highly condensed bile those yellow spots all over their club tail. Mm. Quite unsavory. Okay, wait. Now where did... Ah! There's Life Pod 17. Now, in order for me to make the laser cutter, I'm going to need a resource that only spawns uh, in the jelly shroom biome. So that means I'm probably going to have to dive down from the ceiling of the cave to the floor until I find a diamond. Or actually two diamonds, if my memory serves correctly. Which it Actually, wait. Ah! Hold on. There's an outcropping right here. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Ah! A diamond! Perfect! Remember Just... that materials you gather are the property of the All Terra Corporation. You will be liable to reimburse the full market price. Your current bill stands at 3 million credits. Well, that's just great. In the off chance that I get rescued, I get none of the glory and I get, you know, charged to fucking back. I get charged to death by the Altera Corporation. Which sounds like an idiotic meters. name for a company Oxygen anyway. Oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. Okay, two diamonds, got what I needed. So now... I can return. Shallow water and make my laser cutter. Seek fluid intake. And as soon as I get the laser cutter done, I'm going to get together some supplies and head for the Aurora so that I can go into as many rooms as possible and gather all the resources up in the Aurora. It'll probably take me multiple trips to get all the resources out. 
and then once that's, uh, or, actually, you know what, no, I'll probably just focus on sealing the radiation breach. Yeah. Okay. Laser cutter. Okay. So we got the Habitat Builder, Survival Knife, Scanner, Fire Extinguisher, Repair Tools, Laser Cutter, and Propulsion Cannon. Okay, now I just need to get some food. Yeah, you're probably just going to want to... Uh, ...bladder fish so you can drink water. Look, I don't enjoy the feeling of your eyeball squishing against my teeth much more than you enjoy having your eyeball squished between my teeth, but we're out of options here, you know. I'm hungry and you're food, so let's, let's not make a big deal out of this. Okay, come here, bladderfish. You know what's about to happen here. I'm about to turn you into a water filter. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm being dissolved. Oh, painful. Damn gasopods. Not even a threat to you. However, that being said, I wonder if it would be possible to cage gasopods in Subnautica. So that you could harvest their um, pods. Two peepers and a cooked boomerang. Filtered water. There, that ought to do it. Vital signs stabilizing. There we go. Vital signs have been stabilized. Receiving pre recorded distress call laying back. This is Life Pod 3 uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay then. Let's go see Life Pod 3. They say the sea glide's damaged. Yeah, you see, the main reason why, before we go to the Aurora, we'll want to um, find all of these life pods is because some of them have, uh, some of them have special, uh, you know, little drives in them that will contain item data, some of them will have unique collectibles in them, and all that. I know for a fact that there is a Markiplier uh, figurine in Subnautica. And I know on PC there is a Jack Skepticai one. So, it should be quite nice to find such things. They have an emergency sea glide. You know what I don't get? Why is it we all did not get access to an emergency sea glide? Oh good! And I can make a compass! A compass would be nice! Welcome aboard, Captain. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Yeah, so when we get back, I'll see if I can make us a compass. I think I'll have the necessary silver. Ooh! 
one resource we're probably lacking is magnetite. I think it would require some magnetite to make. I like it when it makes that noise. It's just such a satisfying noise to turn on the light. Yeah, it's going to be a little challenging when we finally start building a house to um, be able to power the thing. Typically, I always just make one up here in the safe shallows and use solar power to power it. And I like to build it on a slope so that as we go further out and make other modules onto the base, that it'll be a lot easier to build an access them, because they'll be further up off the ground. Yeah, a compass. So just copper wire and a wiring kit. Okay, good. We don't have to worry about anything crazy. Actually, I think we have everything needed to build it right here. Copper wire. Wiring kit. And kaboom. No. Oh. There we go. Yep, got a compass. So now up at the top we can see the four cardinal directions of this planet. Okay, so we have a compass. Hmm. Well, I guess this means it should probably be about time we head to the Aurora. I mean, our food and water is nearly completely full, so... Yeah, there's not really a better time. And I know what the hell's waiting for us at the side of the ship where the entrance is. I'm not looking forward to that. Because I'm not some masochist like Charlie. Oh, wait. I think the coffee machine's around here somewhere. Oh, no, but they do have a garbage can. Yes, let me... Oh, fluid analyzer, eh? Here, let me pick up the trash can blueprint. Near blueprint located. Access Is that, uh, no, no, that's not the coffee machine. No, the coffee machine's out here somewhere. Oh, good, and now I can place beacons. Well, I can't find the coffee machine in this way. Okay, well, this is all the time we have for the episode right now, so I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.